Thank you, Father. We're going to pray right, right now. Let's bring ourselves in for prayer. We honor our Father when we pray. And we honor and support one another when we pray. Prayer is essential. Prayer isn't difficult, and you don't have to buy a book about how to pray, three steps on how to pray. Just speak your heart. That's all you have to do. And your heart is already in tune to the Father, in the name of Yahushua. So all you got to do is speak your heart and let him have whatever it is that he needs to have from you. Father, right now, we thank you. We thank you so much for this time that we can come together as a family, not only here on our Zoom family, but our family all over this earth and every country. We thank you. On every continent, we thank you. We give you praise tonight for being so good, good, good to us. So miraculous, so healing, so joyful, so gentle. It's such a respite, such a resting place in the midst of a world of chaos and darkness. You are that light, Father. You promised to lead us home. And we're looking to be home with you, Father, one day. But in the meantime, you've given us every skill, every talent. You've equipped us to do the will that you have set before us. Let each one be in that resolve tonight to know that you are the ordainer of our footsteps that you, by your precepts and your word and by your spirit, have allowed us the opportunity to get to know you as we never thought we ever could. We want to know you as close to you as we can possibly be in this state and in this form because nothing is impossible. Let us drop every weight that so easily besets us. Let us not worry, for you have already ordained tomorrow. And we have not any power over it. Be with us during this time of seasoning ourselves on your word, feasting, enjoying, chewing, swallowing, digesting. That every part would be strong. Every part of us as a body would be strong and able to carry out your will in this dark earth, dark world. Touch every household that is in the sound of my voice. Move by your mighty hand. Bring salvation to those that need salvation. Bring awakening to those that need awakening. Give sustenance to those who are in need of it and bless those that are seeking you. Give them a clear mind, a thirsty mind, an appetite bar none to continue to receive of you as we grow. And we are grown because of you, Father. You're supplying every need according to your riches and glory. You have blessed us and given us every spiritual gift we need. There's nothing lacking in your people because you are with us. You are in us and we in you. We cannot fail no matter what the weapon that comes against us would bring or hold. We cannot lose because you've already won every battle every war for us. Help us, teach us how to walk in the victory. Though we did not ourselves do the work, help us to understand that it is all done in you. Those that are 
heavy burden tonight. Be the lifter of their continents. You are our hope. You are our dream. You are the vision. You are the reality. You're everything to us. And without you, we would be nothing. Father, accept our love tonight as your dear children. Speak to us tonight through your word. Give us of your spirit and not man's philosophy. Bypass that, Father, for us and give us of your mind. We need it. We desire it. And we thank you for it. In the name of your Ua, your Isha. Amen. Oh, let us have a little talk with you. Come on. Sing it, honey. Tell him all you get your note. Tell him all about your struggles. He'll hear you cry. Answer by and by. Oh, keep those prayers turning. I know that there's a fire burning. Have a little talk with Yosha. Makes it right. Come on now, have a little talk with Yosha. Tell him all about your struggles. He will hear your cry. Glass up by and by. Just keep that prayer wheel turning. Know the fire's burning. Have a little talk with Yosha. Oh, come on, baby, you can go on now. Have a little talk. Have a little talk. He will hear Have a little talk. He will answer. Oh, just a few. Oh, fire burning. Have a little talk with you, show. Well, oh, let us have a little talk with you, show. Tell him all about your struggle. He will hear your cry. Answer by and by. Shafars, then uh, we're going to have another worship team and worship some more. Hallelujah. Some more. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. No weapon formed against us. Against us Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory, glory. Hallelujah. I give honor and praise to our Father. Abba, Yahuwah, Yahusha, we love you, Father. Hallelujah. We are your children called by your name. Another we will not trust. We will not go with them, Father. We'll stay right here with you, to the Almighty, everlasting to everlasting. Let your praises rise above the skies. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, <laughs> 
Hallelujah. Our praises to the Most High, y'all. Thanks for the platform, Mom and Pop. I sure appreciate that. And I appreciate the love, you know. You know, give me an opportunity to bring words of encouragement. And that's my only way to express myself. Thank you very much. The poem that I'm going to uh, read is, um, I, I was talking to my grandmother and I, she mentioned that her parents were slaves. Now, my grandmother was born in 1900, and it would just kind of ring into me how close we were to the things that actually happened to our people. Um, I call this poem, um, We Live, you know? The words came to me shortly after she told me this, these words came to me. It was the South. <laughs> it was fruitful, beautiful, and deadly, deadly to your chocolate skin. It was shameless and proud, proud of its shackles and chain. It was the times as seen in the weary brown eyes of the seeds of kings. Or oh, it was pain because it all hurt. It hurt your being. It banged and gutted. It shredded your body, made latte of your mind, and caused your soul to scream. Oh, it was a way of life, rooted deep, so deep in fear. See the horror, feel the terror. Oh, it was slavery, reaching and struggling to destroy. Look at the children, feeling but not knowing, disconnected, unhooked, and detached, taken away, never to see roots again. Uprooted, misplaced, and made to feel the inhumanity of a people reeking of madness, wallowing in hate, and rejoicing over an ill-gotten nation. Listen at their cries, 
more poignant than the Bob White that sings in the early dawn. Look how they dehumanize, struggling to keep a people naked. Shake your heads in dismay, mm. for this is history. And they say that history repeats itself. But despite it all, mm, they evolved, they grew and they hung on until their fingers were bloody and their bones showed through bright and white. Oh, they hung on through the hangings held on tightly when their women and children were unjustly entered, leaving their wounds contaminated with unwanted sawdust. Yes, it was strange fruit, for it was never consumable, and it rotted quickly, permeating the magnolias and dogwoods, overtaking the sweetness that should have filled the air. Oh, it was hopefulness out of hopelessness. But we emerged, we prayed and talked to our Yah. And we live not to have history echo the injustice of generations. Uh uh. We live to regain and retain all that we forfeited to the dreadful masters those tyrants from hell. We live, we live to foster in an age of hope. We live to reconnect and prosper. We live to rise, to resurrect the spirit of our gallant, beautiful ancestors. We live to thwart any chance of a disgraceful comeback, of an evilness that extinguishes the spirit and acknowledge the heart. Oh, despite it all, we live. We live to learn, live to proclaim that never will we allow history to repeat itself because we live. Hallelujah. 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 Oh. Wow. Yes, we, do. we live. Hallelujah. And do you know who kept us alive? Yes. Every step of the way. Every step of the way. He's still working on our behalf. I feel good today. Yes. Hallelujah. Sound good today. I'm still living. Hallelujah. I thank y'all for that. Wonderful. It's a message. Wow. It's a message. It's we are no longer under the yoke of Yah's curse, but we yet are sensing the stings of an oppressive society. Hallelujah. We may not have a whip on our back, but we have mm -hmm. been whipped and we are being whipped now. Oh, we've been branded. But Yah said, hold on. Mm -hmm. Hold on. He's right. taking the economy of this nation down. Hey, <laughs> it's like you take your drapes down and go wash them. He's taking them down. Yes, it it's, it's a, and it's a on. painful sliding <laughs> they're on. You notice what's happening in Florida? I told you, what gonna be just no nothing coming over there? I said, he ain't putting nothing out there in that ocean for no reason. I told y'all that. And you know what? It's turning into a hurricane. And it's going back on, it's even going, it's going on both sides of, of Florida now. Ooh. <laughs> Florida has done some just the South. It's not just the South, you know, this whole country and all that it represents and all that they influence all over the world. Uh, people over there in China and Japan, they prejudice against us because these people over here through the media have been talking about us like adults. That we know good, that we see, we murderers, we just that they they, so they see, oh. What did you take? What are you taking? Following you in stores. But they're going to pay for all of it. Mm -hmm. They're going to pay for all of it. Yeah. And we, we have already risen mm -hmm. in, a, yes, in, in, the, in the most dramatic and beautiful way. Coming into who you are is a type of coming back to life. The valley of the dry bones. 
-hmm. Shall they live again? Yes. Yes. Yes, they they shall live again. But they shall rise. And the sinews and the flesh shall come back upon them. And they are my people. And I have not forsaken them. But now I call them to me. And I restitute what you have stolen. In these end times, I heal my people. Remember that. We're having a a very, uh, not only physically, but we're getting healed in our spirit. We've been a bludgeoned, emotionally bludgeoned people. And we have many scars in our psyche and our spirit that need healing in many And to me, that's so important because you can't really reach out for all the things he wants you to receive with that, those scars. He has to help us and he has to heal us from it. So we can feel that freedom. We, we can't feel that freedom among them until we get the freedom from him. Then it doesn't matter where you go or who says what, you're free. And they'll never be able to chain your soul again. They'll never be able to put the iron necklaces on your spirit again, let alone on your body. It was your mind that Satan was after. For the sake of gain, that's what they thought. But Satan had a whole nother diabolical plan. Because if the heirs are gone, what's the earth for? And from the beginning, he's always tried to take this domain. He had it for a while, but now he had to give it up. When Yusha came up out of that grave, honey, he took it back. Uh, and he got the deed in his hand. That's what Revelation talking about. He's going to stand on earth in the sea. And in his hand is the deed. Hallelujah. So listen to me really well. Whatever comes or goes, don't let fear grip yourself this time say father you promised to heal to bring me back yes and i'm expecting it whether you do it or not i'm gonna still expect it and whether you do it or not i'm gonna still love you but i still gonna expect it the hebrew boys expected it he said well we know he can he know easy when he throws on in there with if he decide he want to bring us out, fine. He can. He, if he decide to let us burn up to a crisp, that don't mean he couldn't. He can do right. It. Ah, come on now. I said, come on. Sometimes we go through the furnace just to see. Y'all's watching. He'll bring you through it. I said, he'll bring you through it. He'll do it. Hallelujah. If you let it, I know. He'll bring you through it. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. And I thank you. All right. We have a testimonial that we want to hear tonight from our dear sister, Leslie. So, <laughs> there she is. Shalomar, royal family. So, I got checked today by y'all. I, so, you know, I, I was here three and a half years ago and I had a California driver's license. So, but I had to get a Colorado driver's license. I still have two years on, but when I got here, they told me, no, you got to get a California driver's license. And they went by my old license when I was here and they said, well, it's only been expire, expired a year. So you just going to have to renew it. So instead of studying, I'm thinking I just got it all together, right? So I just go in there and take the test, bombed it twice, (laughs) and you only get three tries. And so, and and I could feel it in the spirit, like, we need to prepare for stuff. You know, y'all likes us to be ready, be prepared for stuff, you know? And I just went in thinking, y'all didn't have to drive us out 16 and blah, blah, blah. But laws have changed, things have changed. You know, and it was real tricky how they did it and everything. So, so I learned something today. You know, we have to use wisdom. And so, hallelujah for y'all's chastity. 
So I'll be studying, and apparently I'll have the uh, California license by Tuesday you or will. Monday. <laughs> you, you will. In fact, there's something over there from them in the mail for you. I don't know what it is. I don't know okay. what it is, but you can check it later. But yes, sometimes we uh, get a little cocky. Mm -hmm. But uh, y'all know how to bring us down to earth. It's all right. We we we, we are children of the king, so we feel we like some we're invisible, it. which you know pretty much. <laughs> but we still have to go through what we have to go through. Uh, many times to get the things accomplished that we need to because we're still on this earth mm -hmm. and that there, there's <laughs> some things to be accomplished here uh but we sure would love to live in the spirit our day and night night and day wouldn't it be wonderful yes. but he said if you don't work you don't eat so that tells you right there <laughs> you gonna have some things to do but don't worry he said i'm gonna make sure that all your needs are met according to my riches and glory so it's all good all it's all very good very very <laughs> very, very yeah, good right. all right darling let's have one more song and this anybody else have a testimony for, by the way all right let's have uh, another wonderful worship song
He's already mad. Said he's gonna do it. He said he's gonna do it. He's not a man that he can do it. No, he won't now. He will come to it. No weapon. No weapon. No weapon. No weapon. Never, never, never prosper. They won't work. No, 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 no. Not even two. Not three. No. Not four anymore. You can believe that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He is standing by. No weapon. Not let you go. Don't get me started. No weapon. No weapon hey. is made to a conquer conquer you. Oh, give me some. Hello, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We are yeah. in yeah. agreement to that. We're in agreement. Oh, yeah. yeah. We in agreement. No we are weapon. Agreement. We in agreement. I say it. I hear somebody, but I know it's we all got to be in agreement. No weapon. No weapon. No weapon. No weapon. We all no agree. That's that. Send them darts right back where they came from. Send them back. That's right. That's right. All right. We're going to get into our, our book here, Enoch. Hey. Enoch. Enoch, yes. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, I love him. I love him so. Chapter 50, and the book we're using, and I'll put it in the uh, description box under the title, The Researcher's Library of Ancient Texts, Volume 1, the Apocrypha. It'll be in the box, and it looks like this, big, big book like this, and you can get it on Amazon. I think last time it was, what, $40 or something? I'm not sure. It's not that much. Anyway, it's very easy reading, large. Got nice, you know, spaces between the lines. <laughs> and I need that. So it's wonderful to, to read from this book. All right. Wait for Mr. Wade. Is you okay, sweetie? I'm making it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on it. You can turn your camera off you're gonna, unless you're going to oh, bring it over here. Oh, I'll put it over here for him. Okay. Is this it? Yes, mm -hmm. All righty then. There you go. He he got his own. I don't know if I, I like you. Well, it's okay. I, I'll miss you a little bit. <laughs> I, I ain't said nothing wrong. What are you yeah, talking I'm about? Down. You know where your <laughs> I was saying, I'm down here. You're down there. Okay. You'll be up here in a minute. Let's go. I'm trying to wait for you, honey. Would Can you, like you wait? Turn it off, I'm trying to come up. Huh? Would you like me to turn it off? I think he'll be okay. He'll have his, his seat next to me. And he'll have he'll be seen twice now, and then that'll be okay. wonderful. It's up to you. It's probably gonna cut shut now. Okay. Anyway, all right. Oh. All right, darling. Let's get uh, page number nineteen. Where are you taking me to, babe? <laughs> all right. All right. Yeah, he's cute. All right. I'm going to put. Oh, I'm cute too. Okay. I'm cute too. I'm still going to put this. Everybody cute. You're cute too, Mark. You're cute too, Brother Mark. Everybody cute. Uh huh. All right. Everybody's cute out there. I got my job with them. Everybody's beautiful. Hello, somebody. Everybody's beautiful. Hey. Hey. All right. Let's go. <laughs> Like a starry summer night. Oh, yeah, never mind. All right. <laughs> I told you I just want to bring him Broadway. I just want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. Somebody didn't know what you think, huh? Like a starry sun out of cold, chilly winter's day. Oh, oh, never mind. I, I, I got to say this real quick. Just, uh, I remember a uh, uh, pastor. Uh, uh, senior pastor this time had a, uh, my own uh, assembly there well our assembly and uh it was uh, that time we used to, we used to celebrate christmas and uh i remember uh well i have nothing to give the congregation you know and uh, uh money wise so 
I said, well, I'll give them a, a, a Christmas song. And uh, like somebody, you know, anyway, I said, I'm going to give a Christmas song. Trace was there. And I got the mic in my hand and the pastor. I'm the pastor. I'm, I'm one of the senior pastors. And I got the little mic in my hand. And, and I started singing. And everybody's mouth dropped. Mm -hmm. What was that song I sang? I remember. Uh, but, uh, oh, chestnuts roasting. <laughs> Jack Frost, nipping at your nose. Oh, honey, I'll sing that song. Okay. You tie cows in somebody's heart. Okay. Anyway, our whole place was like, wow, she's all right. <laughs> yeah, that's me. I just kind of like to surprise people every time. <laughs> I don't like all that stiff stuff. See, that's why I was I would I didn't mind leaving that uh behind me. All right. <laughs> yeah, let's go. <laughs> Chapter 50, verse 1. And in those days a change shall take place for the holy elect. What? What's gonna happen? Change. <laughs> But now you got to understand those days. So we're going to find out. In those days, 15, 19, 19, that's it. Uh, in those days, a change shall take, good evening, Brother Lee. Change shall take place for the holy and elect. I'm, I'm ready to change y'all. So they already elect. All right. Already. Holy. Uh, I want you to catch that. Uh, and the light of day shall what? Upon them. Oh, we read about it. We understand what, what this is talking about, don't we? Let's go a little further. You know who the light of day is? In? Understanding. Where does understanding come from? The most high. And glory and honor shall turn to the holy. So there's some accolades coming. There's some positions going to be held, uh, handed out. Oh, come on now. You know, I don't know what this is. Uh, sometimes people think that you, 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 you even uh, when we understood it, Christianity, you know, salvation is. Make sure you come to church and work on the committees and, and try to live as, as good a life as you can. But don't worry about it if you do slip, that type of life. But there's something you should be looking more forward to than that. Besides being, of course, eternally for eternal, uh, eternally with the most high. There, there should be something down here you should be looking for. But it, that's why I was saying clear your minds. All the fog needs to go away. We need to see more clearly. I can see clearly now. Hallelujah. Huh? Amen. The rain is gone. We got to see. Because there's glory and honor that we're supposed to be experiencing as the elect of the most high. And this glory and honor is seeking you. That's what this means. It's looking for you. It's like this uh, goodness and mercy shall follow you. Hallelujah. You leave that essence. It ain't something like some people get on stage and they preach and got two guys walking behind them say, look, goodness and mercy follow me. That ain't what he's talking about. 23rd Psalm. What he's saying is wherever your essence, wherever you go, that's what you leave behind. That's your essence. See, that's your honor. That's your glory. Come on. And guess what? Who's seeking it? Hold, holy. Listen to this. Turn to the holy. Oh, Father. On the day of affliction on which evil shall have been treasured up against the sinners. Mm -hmm. now, there's, a day of, there's a day on the calendar of Yah. The day of affliction. On which evil shall have been treasured up against who? 
those who disappointed Yah. Remember, when you get to sinners, people always want to put that on the world. He's not talking about the world. He's talking about his own people who break the law are sinners. Because mm -hmm. if you look and see the description of the word, definition, is it's sinning against Yah, his word. That's what makes you a sinner. This world that took the word and ran off with it. Mm -hmm. I said it took the word and mm -hmm. ran off with it. What did Yahushua do? He got uh, uh, blamed. They always like to blame him for anything and everything they can find. Huh? For being a what? A wine bibber. Crazy. Having to having eating and drinking with the sinners. Mm -hmm. Well, how in the world are you going to Zacchaeus' house? He's a sinner, remember? Mm -hmm. Huh? Yes, That's something, but he was of his people. But these they, they looked at money changers and tax collectors as what? Sinners. Because mm -hmm. you gotta kind of play in Caesar's hand, right? Mm -hmm. That's what he was, they were saying. Mm -hmm. And the righteous shall be victorious in the name, in the name by doing the will of the most high of spirits. Bring it, bring it. People have been uh, deceived to think that just saying his name over and over and over and over and over is, is all you need to work to do. He ain't talking about repeating his, his uh, initials or his, the letters of his name. He's talking about doing what that name represents. Mm -hmm. As you call on the name of Jesus or call on the name of Yahusha, call on whatever name you call on him, that's not the purpose of the name. The purpose is to understand. Mm -hmm. The purpose is to understand that you must do the will of your father. That's the purpose. That's the name. And he and he will cause. The others to witness this that they may repent. You see that? Mm -hmm. Well, let's understand what he's saying. He's saying, we got sinners among us. Mm -hmm. Our own people. We know that. But what he's saying is he's looking for you, the righteous the elect. He wants to give you a holy assignment. What is that holy assignment? Is to live, sister. Uh, Donna brought out beautifully. We have to live. We have to rise up out of the ashes. We got to rise up out of this old stinking thinking that we've been privy to have to think all this, we all these hundreds and hundreds of years. And the only way we can stop thinking that way is the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It was like that back when our ancestors left Egypt. They couldn't even get to the Canaan land for that stinking thinking. You understand? Pull that out, Mark. Pull it out. So yeah. yeah, thank you. Thank you, Donna. All right. And that kind of God ain't gonna care about us and he don't care what they would say. Yah's not on our side. He wouldn't have us out here with no water, no, no bread, no food. You done brought us out here to die. Mm -hmm. He didn't bring you out to die. He brought you out. He brought you out to live. Hallelujah. That you might have life and have it more abundant. Mm -hmm. You gotta, you gotta understand that. All right. Remember the scripture in Ephesians four when it talks about how he's given apostles and prophets, and teachers and pastors. And Evangelist, he gave them to prepare you for ministry. Preach it, preach it. Mm -hmm. So you can live like this scripture is telling you as lights. So your fellow uh, family members that aren't living, they're sinners, will see the light. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So they will witness this and so that they can what? Repent. And forego the works of their hands. In other words, turn loose what they've been doing wrong. Oh, yeah. 
That's what repentance is. It's a foregoing of, of the works that you've been doing. It's leaving them behind. Changing your mind. Oh, I said it is. Uh, people say, well, I said I was sorry, but I can't help it. That's not repentance. Repentance is you can help it. That's what repentance is. All right. They shall have, verse 3, they shall have no honor through the name of the Most High of Spirits. No honor. Mm -hmm. Listen to that. If you don't forego the works of your hands, you will have no honor. Mm -hmm. yeah, which means, hey, you can pray all day. Mm -hmm. Turn loose what you're doing wrong. That's what repentance is. Preach it, preach it. Come on. Yet through his name shall they be saved. You hear that? Wait a minute. Hallelujah. Listen. Hallelujah. Why? Listen to this real good. Yet through his will. It's his will to save his people. Yes, it is. Not saying everybody likes some people say. They got a belief that it, everybody in Israel is a Jew, the Jewish person, all of them gonna be saved. Mm. That's what they think. But listen to this. They shall have no honor through the name. Of the most high of spirits, which is you, mm -hmm. yet through his name shall they be saved. Yet, mm -hmm. and the most high of spirits will have compassion mm -hmm. when they turn or when they repent. Yeah, he ain't talking about people who don't want to repent, he said, Forego your works of your hands, yes. and I'm gonna save you. Mm -hmm. You don't have to have no long history of record serving me. He said it don't matter. I'm gonna pay the, I'm gonna pay what's right. Then he said, go mm -hmm. out there in the vineyard work. And boy, out. those been out there all day got a little perturbed, didn't they? Oh, yeah, what yeah. you doing paying these folks? They just got here and it's about yeah. time to quit. And you yeah. giving them the same thing you giving us. <laughs> he said, What is it to you? It's my money. All right. I gave you what I told you, and you agreed. So what's your problem? Hello. Don't get up in my business. Take your money now and get. Hello, somebody. Y'all don't need money. No, they do I don't care if they step on the line at the last second. Y'all save it. Yes, he will, because that's what he came here to do. You think he just turned people loose so quick? Why do you think he, he'd have been, been uh, uh, shepherding you all this time? Okay. And didn't give up on you. Thank you for the Holy Spirit. Amen. For his compassion is what? You don't can't measure his compassion. And he is righteous also in his judgment mm -hmm. or his justice. Whatever he hands down is righteous. Mm -hmm. And in the presence of his glory, unrighteousness also shall not maintain itself. <laughs> I said it can't maintain itself. They don't have no fodder to feed off of. Like, hey, a fire wants something to feed off of to burn. He said, I'm going to take all the oxygen out of, out of, out of there. Ain't going to be no, no place for it to burn. Y'all will clean you up. Hallelujah. And give you a mind never to want to sin again. Do you hear me? You don't have to sin. Don't believe them lies. When you get the Holy Spirit inside of you, and his mind is your mind, and you oh, you two are there thinking as one. You don't be wanting to sin. No, you don't. You're thinking about something dirty you can do. You think about what can I do to please my father? He's so yes. good to me. He's so good. No sacrifice is too great for my father. You hear me? Those who seek to save their life don't lose it. Huh? But if you lose it in his honor, you're going to gain. Hallelujah. At his judgment, the unrepentant, he's dealing with that. You see that? Mm -hmm. Shall perish before him. So he ain't talking about he's going to save a wretch undone. Mm -hmm. He's talking about a repentant heart. No matter what you've done and how long you've done it. 
If you can repent, that means you have the grace of righteousness has smiled on you. Accept it. Be glad about it. Because only he can make you and I holy. You cannot dress a certain way and wear a dress a certain length or dance a certain way. It's only the gift of the Most High Yah that makes us holy. Because he sees something deeper in us than we can see in us. And he brings us to what? Repentance. Hallelujah. But if you don't repent, you're going to perish. And from henceforth, I will have no mercy. So that scratches that, don't it? He said, I, I'm not going to have no mercy. So this stuff about he's going to save everybody is not, it's not what he's saying. He's going to save the repentant. Preach it, preach it, Chapter 51. And in those days shall the earth also give back that which has been entrusted to it. Even Yah is expecting the earth to pay up. Hallelujah. Come on now. And everything in it. Yes. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. The tree's got a, a, a job to do like everybody else. They got to grow. Yes, yes, and they got to yes. produce. Yes. Preach it, preach Come on now. All the animals, all of them have their own positions and jobs. Mm -hmm. In Yah. Mm -hmm. He's going to judge everything. Hallelujah. I said he's going to judge. He's going to judge. All right. Mm -hmm. And so, and Shoal, or hell, also shall give back in that which it has received. Uh oh, mm -hmm. that's the grave. I'm sorry, not, not hell to hit the, the pit, but the grave. Mm -hmm. It's going to give everything it swallowed back. Mm -hmm. Because remember, not one, people say, how is he going to pull everybody together? Some people in the ocean, and some people eat by fish, and, and, and some is in the ground, and some been burned to death. And so I said, you know what? Not one molecule of your body is lost. Preach it, preach it. Where is it going to go? Mm. It burned up. Where, mm. where do you think the ashes are? Preacher, preacher. Huh? Preacher. It's in the ocean. The fish ate it. Where do you think he pooped out? Preacher. Hey. Come on now. Hey. Come on. Do you understand what I'm saying? Preacher. You ain't you can't you're not gonna get out. You're not gonna get out of this atmosphere. I don't care how, how long you've been dead. <laughs> you here. Where are you going? Well, he's dead. So what? He's in the ground. He'll be back. Mm -hmm. I'm reading you the scripture. Mm -hmm. Well, why do you need to have come back? Because he put every molecule was in his head when you when you come through here. Mm -hmm. What you're going to be, what you're going to look like, and all that. He already had all that planned. So all of it's still there. And when he say rise, you're going to get up from there. Yes. Your body gonna your, your spirit gonna be with him, but your body gonna rise. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Yes, hallelujah. Hallelujah. And you're gonna put on some new clothes. Mm -hmm. I said you're gonna put on some new clothes. Because yes. mm -hmm. that body of the elect ain't gonna look like it went when it went down. He gonna glorify it coming up. Yes, hallelujah. You ain't seen nothing as beautiful. Everything. That he's just going to be, you're going to be what? Change. Yeah. He, he didn't say you was you was going to be cut off and be something different. Did he? I want to, I want you to think about it. He didn't say, okay, the body, you're going to be just gone and I'm going to recreate a new body for you. For you to, to live on this earth and glorified body. No, he didn't ever did say that, did he? Nope. He said, you shall be changed. Yes. In the twinkling of an eye. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yes, 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 yes. So I, I, we'll know each other. We will know one another because you have a unique look that nobody else has, like your fingerprint. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And that fingerprint will never be lost and never belong to anybody but you. Do you understand who God is? Hallelujah. So I'll be afraid of death. That's just the beginning. That's like a child coming out the womb. Come on now. It's like a child coming out the womb. You begin to live. 
Because death doesn't have no power over us. I said, have no power. Come on now. All they be doing is like that rabbit that one of he said, Don't throw me in the briar patch. <laughs> Come on, Uncle Remus. Y'all don't know it. Look it up. He said, don't, Whatever you do to the bear, he said, Please, 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 don't throw me in that briar patch. <laughs> he convinced that that animal to throw him in that briar patch, which is his home. And he got around in there just fine. <laughs> in that briar patch. Oh, come on now. <laughs> it's the truth, anyhow. Well, they, the, the world can't do you no harm. It can't kill you. You're already dead to sin. No weapon. No weapon for him no, against you, Cross. You are, a, you, you don't even know who you are. I'm going to put it that way. We are just coming into some light yes, preacher, of who y'all made us to be and what our destiny is. Preacher, preacher. Let's go on. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So the hell going to get back. Uh, the grave going to get back. Hell too. Yeah. So if you went to the fire, you still gonna you gonna get up. Your matches gonna come back together. Don't worry about oh he. We don't know where his body is. Don't worry, y'all know. He knows. <laughs> you know where is that? All right. Remember, nothing escapes. I don't care what man tell you. Every everything is here. Every drop of water he put on here is here. Where going? All right. Get on back down here. All right. Uh, says 584 in those days the elect one Yahusha the manifesting of the most high Yahua himself shall what arise you say rise he said arise. arise big difference isn't it mm -hmm. something has to be down or low to rise to rise but when you say arise that puts a whole different meaning on it doesn't it if you have a balloon and you let it go, it's full of helium, it will rise. Is that right? Mm -hmm. But it won't arise because it wasn't dead. It wasn't out of air. It wasn't out of oxygen. Mm -hmm. Can you understand that? Mm -hmm. To arise means there was something was dead. Mm -hmm. Someone what couldn't do anything and all of a sudden now it's doing something. That's what you call a rise. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, so he goes on and says that he's gonna rise. Let you know who he's talking about. Mm -hmm. Come on. Preach it, preach it. I love this. And what? And he shall choose the righteous and holy from among them. Did he choose the disciples? Mm -hmm. Yes, he did. Mm -hmm. He said he's going to choose the righteous. I thought it wasn't going to be no righteous until they believed in JC. Mm -hmm. No, he said, follow me way before they, they, they really understood who he was. Mm -hmm. He's put your fish, put your, put your net down. Come, come follow me. Mm -hmm. I'm going to make you fishes of men. Mm -hmm. Come on. And they, he had authority Read in his voice. Table. And all they could do is put down the nets, put down the tables and yeah. change in the money. Yeah. Come on now. Preacher, preacher. Every time you do that, you're going to be on the TV. So wait, honey. <laughs> you're going to go back and forth. Here, I'm gonna be. All right. Let's go on. For the day has drawn nigh. Huh? Oh, I, I missed it. Shall arise and he shall choose the righteous and holy from among them. For, that, for the day has drawn nigh, close, that they should be what? Saved. Saved. That's what I say. You ain't saved. Until you say, yeah. <laughs> you set apart to be saved. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I believe, but I'm saved. You, you know, to, those that are saved have endured to the end. Mm -hmm. Huh? Mm -hmm. That's the word. And the elect one shall in those days sit on what? My throne. Mm -hmm. Nobody sits on the throne of Yahweh God himself. Come on. Yeah. Why? Because he was a, see, his throne is his authority. Remember, we, we talk about that. His power is his authority. And he don't need to sit, S-I-T, sit. 
But what he's saying is in the form of a man, I have been created, I've created myself. In the form of a man, I have created myself. I'm gonna say it again. In the form of a man, I have created myself. And it is that man, it is myself that shall sit upon the throne. And his mouth shall pour forth all the secrets of wisdom and counsel. Isn't that gonna be wonderful? Mm -hmm. Well, guess what? He's doing that now. Yes. See, he's already on the throne. Ask Stephen. He's already on the throne. Mm -hmm. And while he's there, he's interceding for you and me. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. And while he's there, he's pouring forth secrets. Yeah. If you're not looking for secrets, how are you going to get in? Look for him to give them to you. Oh, I don't need no secrets. I got all I want. I got all I need. I can barely get through the Bible now. I don't want no more secrets. I don't want nothing. Well, that's a sad, that pathetic sad. soul. And you don't love him. You can't tell me I don't love him. I know I do. No, you don't because action speaks much louder than words. Mm -hmm. You ought to want everything he's about. Mm -hmm. When you love somebody, you ain't going to tell them I don't want that, that rose. You ain't going to tell them to take them shoes back unless they don't fit and want to exchange them. <laughs> you're going to keep everything and everything that that person loves you want to give you. Even if you can't use it, you're going to sit it somewhere on a mat or something. But you ain't going to give it back. Yeah. I don't want this. You don't have to do all that for me. That's, that's in great in gratefulness. And, and y'all doesn't appreciate it. Let him give you everything. I mean, he, he loves you. Let him give you the world. Let him give you the heaven. Let him give you the stars. Let him give you anything and everything he wants to give you. I think the reason why a lot of us stay, stay down or broke is because we think there. We think down. And we think broke. We think disgusted. We think that way. It's, we got to break those chains. Those chains have to be broken. All right. When he says you have everything you need, don't you contradict him. I don't care if you're looking at one, one slice of bread left in your refrigerator. Don't you dare contradict him. You think that sounds crazy? No, it doesn't when you're walking by faith and not by sight. Why? Because he said he'd meet my needs. So I'm going to eat this last piece of bread. I ain't going to save it and let it get moldy because I ain't got no other bread. I'm going to be like that widow. I'm going to be like well, no, the mother had a little boy. She was going to sit down and eat mm -hmm. the last meal, make a cake and, and die. She already had her mind. She was going to die. Mm -hmm. Then a prophet came along to fix me that cake instead. Mm -hmm. Now her faith said, wait a minute. I something about this prophet. I've been knowing about this prophet. Mm -hmm. I've heard about it. I'm like, hey, I ain't got no, no, hey, I don't have nothing to lose. I don't have but one cake and die. Let's give it to him and see what I can, I can get, I can do. He took it and ate it too, right in front of him. Mm. And they was hungry. They didn't complain. But they barrel never, never was empty after that. Y'all will test you. I said he will test you. To see who, if you really do have faith in him, if you do trust him. I'm not saying it's easy. No, it's not easy. Oh, of course not. If it was easy, it wouldn't be faith. Ah! Mm -hmm. <laughs> what do you think faith is about? It's about hard work. Sometimes it's about hard work. Woo. It's about denying yourself, even though in the midst of what you're looking at. Oh, now. I'm saying this, but I know what you said. Mm -hmm. Oh, I know. Let's go on. Hallelujah, so good. So he's going to pour out secrets of wisdom and counsel to us. For the most high of spirits, Yahuwah, have given them to him and have glorified him. You know what he's talking about. Huh? Your kinsman redeemer. 
Hallelujah, Yahusha himself. And in those days shall the mountains leap like ram. He ain't talking about these sand, these, these different uh, sand and stone and rock mountains jumping around, pull up the skirt and dance. He's not talking about that. Mm -hmm. People, mountains are places of, of, of authority and, and places that have been settled and, and situated and are something that can be good or bad. Depends on which way he wants to use it. In this case, he's letting you know no mountain, no no weapon formed against you is going to prosper you, prosper against mm -hmm. you. No mountain. It comes as as a, 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 an oppressor can be a mountain. Huh? Mm -hmm. A husband that's beating you can be a mountain. Come on now. Your education can be a mountain. Depends on what's going on in your life. To call it a mountain. It's trouble. It ain't too good. It's working against you, not for you. And you know, that's all they say. I got to climb the mountain. You know, I'm not going to give up. Well, y'all don't have to say, didn't say it. you have to climb the mountain. But he said, you got to speak to that mountain. Hey, he didn't tell you to go get some, some little uh, keats that they use to climb mountains and get the little the little sticks that they use as a rope, mm -hmm. huh? And get to climbing. Okay. Mm -hmm. I haven't read where he told me to climb a mountain, huh? Yeah. Okay. But he told me to speak to a mountain, and if I speak to that mountain and and, and believe, he said the mountain was going to. He said it's going to be cast into the sea. Mm -hmm. What is the sea? It's a place where it won't come back no more. It's this. It's destroyed. That's what it is. It ain't going out into the Atlantic Ocean. It ain't going to be no mountain just a rip up. But what? What that mountain ever do to you? That ain't the mountain he's talking about. I want your burden to be so big and it can surmount so large. He said, tell that mountain, go. That's what he said. I can't do that. I don't know how. He just told you how to, to go. What's, what's so hard about that? What I'm telling you is not to make fun. What I'm telling you is I'm trying to shock you into doing something. That you take a step that you haven't taken. Believe y'all with all your heart, mind, and soul. No matter what somebody says to you. What you're told. Trust it. Man told me I had this. Remember, I tell you, have such uh, it, it's just a little sore, it's getting so much better. I hadn't done no exercises for it. And uh, he told me that I had a, a torn muscle across here, but the other three I have to build up. And he gave me some pain pills and sent me home. I still got them pain pills sitting in here. I, I take some from my back, but not for this. And I can feel a little soreness in there, but nothing like it was. My husband showed me, I showed my other day, I went and picked up this heavy. Thing. <laughs> And I've been walking around here saying, Father, you're healing me. Hallelujah. He's healing me. I don't have to have, a, 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 have it happen immediately. We just want to make money and put you on drugs. Go, go to your father. That's good. There's certain things he'll allow you to do, and there's certain things he will not allow you to do. Keep your ears and your eyes open. So he's going to sit on his throne. He's going to pour forth secrets and wisdom. Then he's going to say to, he's going to be what? Glorified. Mm -hmm. And verse four, and in those days shall the mountains leap like rams and mm -hmm. the hills also shall skip like lambs, satisfied with milk. Mm -hmm. Now, you know, ain't no hills, need no milk. <laughs> <laughs> but we yes. desire the sincere milk of the word. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 Huh? You the lambs. Yeah. Huh? And, and, and hey, what are we going to We're going to trample over the hills. We're going to just run around on it. Because he's going to say, we got Satan under our feet. Hallelujah. Come on now. Hallelujah. We got demons under our feet. Hallelujah. Okay. Don't come up in here messing with these folks here. Oh, I'm going to try them for sure. But you, hey, bring it. <laughs> Yeah, bring it. Who oh, don't say that? Who oh, don't say that? They might come take you up on it. And you're gonna be in trouble. I said, "Where is you? Oh, you have little faith, right? 
Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm not out there teasing no demons, but I'm just mm -hmm. saying, if you if you mm -hmm. bad, bring it on. But I don't coax it. But you and I have to understand. And how do we do? How do we get the understanding? To experience, not only through hearing his word, but experiencing the actual. That's how your faith gets built. I've had people say, you know, and I've said it for years, uh, pray my strength, pray, pray for my faith, pray that my faith gets built, uh, uh, increase the faith that like the, the man did in the New Testament when he said, uh, give me faith, uh, increase my faith. A mom, mom belief, same thing. Yes, unbelief. Help my, un see, he didn't say ask, he didn't ask for faith. He should have been asking for help of his unbelief. You think about it? I believe I knew what he was trying to say, but why would I want somebody to help my unbelief? Right. Hallelujah. 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 Let's stop having a pity party over the unbelief. Let's have some faith. It's trying to. Let's not have that kind of system going on in our in our, in our heart. All right, let's go on. And the faces of all the angels in heaven shall be lighted up with joy. They're gonna be so happy because why this is this is the plan of Yah. And they love him. And they see it coming together in you. That makes them happy. Yes. Isn't that wonderful? Oh, yeah. It makes them happy. Yeah. When you do something well for somebody that I love, that makes me happy. Huh? Thank you, Father. And the earth shall even rejoice. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the righteous shall dwell upon it, and the elect shall walk therein. That's what we're doing now. And we shall say to the mountain, be cast into the sea. And we shall pounce upon the hills. Hey. See, huh? We shall nurse at the breast of El Shaddai. Hey, come on. The many-breasted one. Yes. And all of our needs are met in him. Right. He is our sustainer. He is. He is alive and well. You wouldn't be here. I'm saying people that well, there is no God with well, you. You wouldn't be here. No. We wouldn't be here. He's our creator. I don't know where we'd be here. And he ain't here. Don't make no sense. People just don't think before they, they open the big mouth. Right? Let's go to 52. And after those days in that place where I had seen all the visions of that which is hidden, for I had been carried off in a tornado, a whirlwind. <laughs> and they had borne me towards the west. Now it's coming towards the west. And, thine, and there mine eyes saw all the secret things of heaven that shall what? Be. That shall be. A mountain of iron. There you go. A mountain of copper, a mountain of silver, a mountain of gold, and a mountain of soft material, and a mountain of lead. Who do you, what do you think he's talking about? He's talking about the kingdoms of the earth. The kingdoms of the earth. Come on now. That's what we're talking about. Why? Can you tell? Iron? Who's iron? Gold, huh? Yeah. Gold, silver, silver Persia, medium Persia, soft metal mixed with lead. Mixed, see, see, you can see the statue of Nebuchadnezzar in this. Yeah. Mm, yes. Mm -hmm. Huh? Yes. That's what you're talking about. That's the mountain. That's what you're talking about. The mountains. Come talking about kingdoms. Come on. All right. And I asked the angel who went with me saying, what things are these which I have seen in secret? He said unto me, all these things which I have seen shall serve the dominion of his anointed. They're going to serve the anointed. 
Mm. Hey, hey. That's what he said. That they may be potent and mighty on earth. That we can be, hey, mighty folks. Because ah! hey. the mountains are going to gonna what? Bow to us. Oh my God. Hey. Yeah, I, I want old Putin to get on over here. And I want old, old Biden and all the rest of them. Old, all of them. All of them. I don't really want to be bothered with none of them. But I, I, whatever y'all say he needs, I know it's good. So, all right. But just in this, the way it is right now, <laughs> stay as far away from me as you can. <laughs> I don't want to be bothered with none of you. And I asked the angel who went before me saying, this thing, what things are these which I have seen? And they said, these, these are shall serve the dominion of his anointed. That's the dominion of Yahusha, and you are part of his kingdom. Hallelujah. Because he's got the keys. Now they're gonna bow before he said every knee gonna bow, every tongue gonna confess who I am. I am the I am that I am. I am. <laughs> and that angel of peace, listen, that angel of peace answered, saying unto me, What a little, and there shall be, wait a little, I'm sorry, wait a little, and there shall be revealed unto thee all the secret things which surround Yahuwah, the, the most high of spirit. These mountains which the, thine eyes have seen, the mountain of iron, of copper, of silver, and gold, and soft metal, and lead, all of these shall be in the presence of the elect one, all before him. Mm -hmm. He's going to do some judging here, too. Don't just think it's all, oh, they're going to serve. Yeah, but they gonna, he's going to send them through. And it doesn't just mean a particular person. But every nation, y'all said, it's going to be judged accordingly. Mm -hmm. Every nation accordingly. Yeah. As wax, listen to what they're going to turn out to be as wax before the fire. And these ain't the mountains you are. This is definitely the kingdoms of this world, of this earth. And you know who's behind them. And like the water which streams down from above upon those mountains. Listen to this. And they shall, what? Become powerless before his feet. Hallelujah. 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 I say hallelujah. 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 Yeah, oh yeah. Hallelujah, yes. Say to this mountain, we cast to the sea. This, these mountains here, like, it's some reckoning they got to do. And it's some, it's some things that they're going to have to be judged upon. And like the water which streams down from above, on those, upon those mountains, rain in judgment, honey. And they shall become powerless before his feet, and it shall come to pass. They shall come to pass. It shall, it shall come, come to pass. pass. In those days that none shall be saved. Mm. They can cry oh, all they want, oh, wow. jump around, do the hooky kooky and the, and, the, and the twist and the Mashed potatoes <laughs> and the swim and the flug and the the food, all the rest of them. Uh -huh. <laughs> they can do them all. The fug, fug, what's that? The fug, frug, frug, whatever it was. It won't, it won't matter because they won't do them any good. They're gonna, be, they're gonna be stripped of their power, huh? And they're not gonna be saved, and they won't be able to buy their way out, like they've been doing. Uh, either by gold or by silver. Mm. Can't do it. Hey. None, huh? And none be able to escape. Oh, you ain't gonna no. get away. Yeah. All your dirty deeds, honey, is coming to the yeah. laundry mat of eternity. Woo! Hey! Oh, hey. You're gonna be thrown. Oh, Hallelujah. And I like the hot dryers anyway. They like to make your clothes fluffy. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> They're gonna be fluffy, all right? And there shall be no iron for war. Listen to y'all. They're they gonna lay down them weapons. They're gonna be no, no more weapons. You know who introduced the weapons and watches. Mm -hmm. There ain't gonna be no more weapons of war. Mm -hmm. So that means there ain't gonna be no more bombs of any kind of nature. There ain't gonna be no tanks, mm -hmm. rifles, guns, none of that. Yeah. Uh, submarines, fighter jets, mm -hmm. all of it. Mm -hmm. It's going to be destroyed. Yeah. 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 Yes. Nor shall one 
clothe oneself with a breastplate, run shall be of no service to you. <laughs> Forget about trying to protect yourself. And ten shall be of no service and shall not be esteemed. Well, we know ten didn't do too much, but it could be shining out your eyes or something. But he said, you ain't going to you ain't gonna have a tin can to cover yourself with. You ain't going to have nothing. No tin man either. And legs shall be shall not be desired, and all these things shall be denied, destroyed from the surface of the earth. You can't wow. even get, you can't even go and find them because he's gonna take it out of the earth because he don't need it. See, yes. hallelujah, he got gold you ain't heard of the kind you can see through, you know, that kind look like crystal, but it's gold. Right. Mm -hmm. Come on now. Hallelujah. 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 And I got a funny feeling even that. I thought diamonds. I'm sure it's a diamond you haven't seen. They got diamonds all over in, in heaven. They, people yeah, find it. They be, yeah, they find it. Uh, what? Planets. They got a planet with di yeah, diamonds. Right. Uh, and diamonds. Y'all yeah. ain't, ain't hurting for no diamonds and gold. Hallelujah. Hi, what do you think this is? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, and shall be and not be desired, and all these things shall be denied and destroyed. When the elect walk. Shall appear. Oh, yes. thank you, Father. I'll be so glad before yes. the face nah, or sit on his throne yes. of the most high of spirits. Yes. Yes. Somebody yes. keep my timing, please. For yes. 53. There, my eyes saw a deep valley. Say deep valley. Deep valley. With open mouths. Whoa, down in that deep valley was open mouths. It's open. Oh, wow. Okay. wow. And all who dwell on the earth and sea and islands shall bring to him huh, mm -hmm. gifts and presents and tokens of homage. But that deep valley shall not become full. There's no, what he's saying is the appetite won't be quenched. Mm -hmm. Appetite will be. It's not a mountain with big teeth and mouths. Like, don't look, don't get that picture. But this valley is where people want to keep pouring things in, and pour, it's like a, a, a what do you call it? An empty, bottomless, bottomless pail or something. And yeah, it just it, it can't be satisfied. Mm -hmm. See, with the things that you keep giving it. Mm -hmm. You understand? All right. So that's what it means by says. That deep belly shall not be full or satisfied. No. Remember that? Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. And their hands commit lawless deeds. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. And the sinners devour all whom they lawlessly what? Oppress. We know about that word. Mm -hmm. Talking about judgment here. Mm -hmm. He's talking about appetite to sin. He's talking about nothing's gonna satisfy. Nothing's gonna satisfy these people. All right. All the gold and the silver in the world can be poured into them. It just it just can't do anything for them. That's what's happening to a lot of people with a lot of money. They just run out of things to do. Mm -hmm. I've done that. I've been there. Then it gets crazier. Well, I haven't jumped off off of, off of this and I haven't slid into that. It just gets, you know, on, it goes on and Never. on. And, and but this is gonna be a thousand times worse than that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yet the sinners shall be destroyed before the face of the Most High. That's us. That's people that are of our people. He, he ain't talking about, he, he, he's talking about sinners. But he's really talking about his people. He's trying to get us on board. So sometimes the Father sits and talks to you to try to frighten you into getting one to get right. He did that with all the prophets. He, he tried to get the people to wake up. Because you're going to get judgment. This king or that king is coming to, te to terrorize you and take you into bondage. And he, they would just always be talking to him about it. But they, you know, lollygagging around until it was too late. Mm -hmm. And they shall be banished from off the face of the earth. And he means it. His people, all of them will not be saved. Mm -hmm. But those who repent will. Isn't that a wonderful thing? Hallelujah. Yes. If you really think about it, don't think about that, those who won't. Think about you and I yes. who repented. Yes. He's telling you, you in with me. Hallelujah. You understand what I'm saying? Hallelujah. Stop doubting Hallelujah. where your position is in God. Hallelujah. 
because you are able to repent. Mm -hmm. Everybody can't repent. Everybody don't have a heart to want to repent. You got to make you repent. Mm -hmm. But just think you have a heart of repentance. You understand that? The value of that? Because without it, you couldn't see him in peace. They shall perish forever and ever. And I saw the angels of punishment, uh uh-oh, abiding there and preparing all the instruments of Satan. And I asked the angel of peace who went with me, for whom are they preparing these instruments? And he said unto me, they prepare these for the kings of the mighty of this earth. Mm. You notice how he goes back and forth. He says, Mm. now he's talking about the earth. He talks about the sinners. He goes and talks about the earth. That they may what? Be destroyed. Mm -hmm. Okay? And after this, the righteous. And what are the things that Satan does? Diseases. You know, pestilence. He does a lot of, remember Job? All those things that he he, uh, threw at Job? Uh, That gives you some some indication of what the instruments of Satan are. Remember the storm that blew the house to smash the children up? Uh, remember the disease of the cattle and they died? That's what he's talking about. If you go and read Job, you'll get a uh, wind of his weapons and what he used against Job to give you an idea of what he's they're saying, his instruments of destruction. All right. All right. So he's not going to judge his people and not judge his word. Isn't that right? And after this, the righteous and elect one, Yahushua, shall cause the house of his congregation to appear. That's that city. John the Revelator saw coming down from heaven, four square. Hallelujah. Twelve foundations. Four gates to the city made of purple. Come on now. Well, foundations of the apostles. Come on now. Hallelujah. He saw saw streets of gold. Hallelujah. Clear as crystal, he said. Come on now. There was a fountain. Hallelujah. Flowing. Hallelujah. Come on. Full of righteousness and goodness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I, I can't miss this trip. I might, I might okay. take a trip or two somewhere else, but this one is, is, is no cancellation of this trip. Oh, no. Don't forget oil on this one. No. Okay. Yeah. There you go. So he's talking about you and me, his congregation. That's the word that they changed to church. Gathering and congregation, ecclesia. It never was meant to be anything called a church. Mm. All right. Henceforth, they shall be no more hindered in the name of the Most High Spirit. No more hindrances. No more traps. No more stumbling blocks. Hallelujah. And these mountains shall not stand as the earth before his righteousness. They can't stand before him. None of them. Look at all the earth had, all these leaders they got, and all these nations. Come about the League of Nations, League of Devils. They ain't trying to do nothing y'all want them to do. Nope. They're doing just the opposite. They're doing what the Satan want them to do. Mm-hmm. They got you thinking they're doing something for you. Ain't nothing but undermining you. Why? Because their father's a liar. Hallelujah. He's a their father of lies. He's the originator of the lies. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, but the hills shall be as what? Gonna change them into fountain of water. Mm. And the righteous shall have rest. That's when you're gonna have your full rest from your oppressor. Mm. From oppression of who? The sinners. Mm. The mm-hmm. sinners oppress. All people oppress us. Mm-hmm. Don't forget that. Not just the world oppressed us, yes, the heathens, but all people. They are, they are oppressing our people are oppressing women right now. Our, our people oppress their own people, their own women, their own mothers, their own sisters. And then there's some sisters oppressing the brothers. 
It's very sad. But they don't have no love for y'all. 54. And I looked and turned to another part of the earth and saw there a deep valley with this time, instead of miles open, it's burning fire. Mm -hmm. And they brought the kings and the mighty and began to cast them into the deep valley. Mm -hmm. Well, there you go. I want to explain that one. Mm -hmm. And there mine, there mine eyes saw how they made these their instruments. Uh-oh. Iron chains of immeasurable height. Wait. Listen to this. He cast them into this valley mm -hmm. of fire. There he saw their instruments of iron chains mm -hmm. of immeasurable weight. Mm -hmm. And I asked the angel of peace who went with me saying, for whom are these chains being prepared? We didn't have our, our full our fill of chains. Mm -hmm. No more chains. No more chains. Hallelujah. Said so it came to set the captive what? Free. He that the most high says free is free indeed. Yes. No more chains. I'm gonna have to write a song about it. No more chains. I'm gonna change it. I'm gonna change. I'm gonna write another one with yours. We can sing them together. I didn't write this one, but it was out. Oh, okay. I'm gonna write this one. We gotta get our own words for our own song. Okay. I asked the angel and he told me that these chains are being prepared. He wanted to know what they're being prepared for. He said unto me, these are being prepared for the host of who? Azazel. You remember Azazel, one of the watchers? Oh, oh, Azazel. Over there in Mar Herman, I guess they're going to get them out of Mount Herman. Come on now. So that they may take them and cast them into the abyss of what? Complete condemnation. Oh, my. No way out for them. But what they did to this earth. What they did against Yah and against the earth. Against Yah and against the earth. Yah's going to judge what you did against him, what you did against his people, and what you did against this earth. Oh, yes, he is. He said, if I'm going to judge, uh, judge the angels, I'm going to judge you. That's what he's saying. So that they may take them and cast them into the abyss of complete condemnation. Ooh. And they shall, what, cover their jaws with rough stones as the most high of spirits command. Mm. I'm talking about stick something in your mouth is too big. This is, goes on quite a bit more than that. Mm. Mm. Stones means you have nothing to say. Huh? You have nothing at all, at all, at all to say. Forever. You can't call, you can't cry, you can't talk, you can't pray. It's over. Jaws of stone mean they can't open. You get a jaw of stone and see how much you can say. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. uh? right. Can you open your mouth? No. No. It's set. That's what he's saying. And Michael and Gabriel and Raphael and Fanat Uo shall take hold of them on that great day. Mm. Cast them on that day into the burning furnace. Mm. Well, come on. That the most high spirits may take vengeance on them yes. for their unrighteousness and, be and becoming subject to let me say this to you and leading astray those who dwell on earth. Do you understand what he's really saying here? Let's read it again. Don't want to pass this one up. Mm. That the most high spirits may take vengeance on them for their unrighteousness. Huh? Mm -hmm. Now, here's what this is saying. When we are unrighteous and unrighteous acts, what we're doing is becoming subject to Satan. Mm. 
It's not just about, oh, I decided to just do this on my own and go about my own. No, what you're doing is you're placing your, yourself in the lion's mouth. Uh-oh. When you commit unrighteousness, that's the opposite of righteousness. Right. And that makes you vulnerable now to, and your subject, he becomes your king. See, when you're vulnerable to sin, you're vulnerable to Satan. See, you, you didn't cross the divide. Now you belong to him. That's why some of you had a rough time getting out from over there, but y'all had to help you all over the divide because you wouldn't have made it okay. because he wanted to kill you first. Yeah. But y'all said, oh, no, you're not. He told me, he let me, he let me know. Oh, no, Satan, you ain't, you ain't there. I had him, when I was sitting on a curb contemplating suicide years ago, I, it was in a vision. I wasn't there, literally. And I was sitting there like a wino. I had a, 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 a bottle of beer or something in my hand and a, and a, and a brown paper a bag mm-hmm. sitting on the curb in front of my house. And contemplating how I'm going to take my life. This is a vision. And the, my father came to me in the vision and began to speak. Mm-hmm. And he said, this is where Satan had planned for you to end up. He got plans too, you know. Satan wanted you to commit suicide. He had a plan for you. But this is what got me and I never forgot. But I told Satan, this is my words of our father. I told Satan, not so. That's all he said. Not going to happen. Not going to happen. Hallelujah. I told Satan, not so. His plan wasn't going nowhere. And that changed, and that's another big change I had in my life. To know that Satan had planned my life to end that way. My father stepped up on my behalf. Hallelujah. And all he yeah. said was, I told Satan, not so. Ooh. It's over. That's it. Hallelujah. Hey. Hallelujah. How many times is he coming to your defense? Hallelujah. And told Satan, not so, over you. Hallelujah. Oh, I'm sure it's been many times. I'm sure. Preacher. Because Satan don't give up. But you're still here, like my dear sister said today, Sister Donna. Hey, we rise. Not because of any strength we have, but because he is our strength. Hallelujah. Okay, I'm going to finish this chapter and let you all go. A little early, get some sleep. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, let's see how long that lasts. Oh, I think I can go on to 55 and end it there. We'll start at 56. Yeah, we'll start at 56 next next week. Okay, so let's uh next week. All right, let's just do these two. Finish this one and do the short one. All right, very good. Thank you, Anthony. All right, so when you are unright, when you do unrighteousness and you become an unrighteous person, I mean, every time you make, you if you make a mistake, you, 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 hopefully you don't make them too often. You get it straight and fine. But when you want to live an unrighteous life, know that you, who who's master, who's who is your master. Because you cannot serve what? Yah and Mammon. Hallelujah. So he's led people what? Astray. Mm-hmm. He, but he's deceived them. Mm-hmm. Many of our people have been deceived. But no greater deception is the deception you deceive yourself with. You hear what I said? You have to be led astray. He's not going to put you in a coma. Huh? And drag you away. No. It's your deeds that put him as your master. Your deeds against Yah. They put you in harm's way. All right. Thank you, Holy Spirit. 
In those days shall punishment come from the most high of spirits, and he will open all the chambers of waters. This is before the flood. So now he's talking about the judgment of the flood. Mm -hmm. Which are above the heavens. Wow. And that's true. That's a good note to make. How high is this water? It's pretty high. You're sandwiched in between water. And you didn't Hallelujah. know. Hallelujah. <laughs> you in a ferment, honey. There's water above and water below. I say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ain't no shortage of water around here, y'all. Y'all just lose it, lose it at, at his will. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So he says, I love this. So the chambers out, so there's holding tanks for waters. We talk about that. There's chambers of water. Come on. And these chambers are above the, not heaven, heavens. And the fountains which are beneath the earth. Hello. Huh? Okay. Well, listen to this. I love this. Listen to this. Verse 8. And all the water shall be joined with the waters that which is above the heavens huh, is the masculine. Listen to this real good. And the water which is beneath the earth is feminine. They, they and they shall destroy all who who dwell on the earth, and those who what dwell under the ends ends even the earth. There ain't no place that you're gonna escape. Mm. Now let me go back up here to the masculine and the feminine water. What space is there to breathe if you got a man and a woman? Oh, oh that's fuck. <laughs> Had to bring it out like that because that's what it is. Okay. You understand what I'm saying? He's giving you an illustration. He got the waters above the masculine. Yes. And it, what does it do? It comes down. Yes. And what does it say underneath? It's the feminine. Mm -hmm. it comes up. Mm -hmm. And he's going to swallow them whole. Oh, sweet. Now you got it. Oh, oh, yeah. That's what it meant. There was waters that came up and waters that came down and met. And ain't no room in the middle for no life. Nope. Um, no gray area. Um, Come on. Okay. That's what it means. And they shall destroy, they shall. The what? The, the masculine and feminine, feminine waters. They're going to what? Destroy all who dwell on the earth and those who dwell under the end. Under. Under. Mm -hmm. Under the ends. So there's something going on under the ends of the earth y'all don't know about. They don't want you to know. Ever since Bird went over there and found out other lands over there in Antarctica, they, oh, they don't want to talk about it no more. They done locked everything down. Oh, come on. The old Bird went over there, flying in a plane like a bird. When he got there, he saw what, he went into a cave and met people that lived underneath. See the story. Them, yeah, there's 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 people there's things that live under the earth. What they are exactly, we're not sure, but they look they look strange, but they look like kind of like people. Mm. Read Admiral Byrd's book, oh, and he I goes know. into it. You can even go on the internet and go into YouTube and put it up, and you can even you can watch the flight over there. Even when he went into this. Uh, uh, tunnel and this it was a tunnel and went down deep into the earth and he talked with people down there but they didn't sound like they was holy folk mm -hmm. but you can go down you can read you can go in and see that for yourself Sister, uh, uh, all right the gym, J -I -I -N. The gym. again let's go on up we can do that in a minute. yeah okay that and when they have re recognized their unrighteousness you hear that which they have wrought on earth, 
then by these shall they perish. Mm. Recognize it and then mm. perish. Mm. You're going to come up to the real. That's one other word. You're going to come up to the real. And then you're going to be judged. All right, let's go to the last chapter for tonight. And after, verse 1, chapter 55, and after that, the head of days repented. What does that mean? God repents? Listen to what repentance is with him. Because he, he don't sin. So he ain't got no, no, no nothing to get straight. But it means he changed. Remember, repentance means change your mind. I said repent means change your mind. Change your mind. What did y'all say? He said he repented that he had created man. Did he? Repent. That's what he meant. I changed my, I, I don't want these folks. Okay. These folks are horrible. Look what has happened to my earth. Look what they're doing. They're tearing things up. They're, they're mm -hmm. eating people. They eat giants. is killing and eating people. And people are eating people. And violence everywhere. Mm -hmm. I, every penny him that he had made. Mm -hmm. Well, didn't he know? Well, didn't he already mm -hmm. know? Mm -hmm. Yes, he knew. That don't mean he, that don't mean he got to have, have no sorrow mm -hmm. feeling about it. Hello? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Usha wept knowing he was going to what? Raise Lazarus from the dead? Mm -hmm. No, don't get twisted. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, he can't change his mind. He's the same dude yesterday. You don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> he must have changed his mind because you're still here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say that. <laughs> mm -hmm. A few times. Come on. Right. Come on. What do we any of us do to be here? That's why we can't let him down on this one. I said, you can't let him down now. Oh, it's too, been too much let down from the beginning. Ain't going to be no more with this elect. No, we're not going to let him down. All right. And after that, the head of days repented and said, in vain have I destroyed all who dwell on the earth. What good is it? What good is it doing? And he swore by his great name. See, he can swear. Because he can back it up. Okay. Mm -hmm. Henceforth, I will not do so to all who dwell on the earth. And I will set a sign in the heaven. And this shall be a pledge of good faith between me and them forever. Mm -hmm. Isn't he wonderful? Mm -hmm. And they took that and made it into completely opposite to insult him. Yes. Yeah, they gave flag. It just insults mm -hmm. y'all. Yes. But that's all right. Y'all's gonna have the last word. Mm -hmm. And his 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 rainbow still means what he set it up there to be. Mm -hmm. That is a sign in heaven. And this shall be a pledge of good faith. I don't care what nobody else call it, it's a sign of good faith. Mm -hmm. Between me and them forever. So long as heaven is above the earth. And this is in accordance with my counsel, on my will. And that means pretty soon heaven's going to come to earth and we won't need the rainbow no more. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And when I have desired to take hold of them by the hand of the angels on the day of tribulation and pain because of this, I will cause my chastisement and my wrath to abide upon them. Saith the Most High Yah, the Most High of Spirits. Yes. Listen to it. You mighty kings who dwell on the earth, you shall have to behold money elect one. You're going to have to look on it. Mm -hmm. How he sits on the throne of glory and judges Azazel, oh. the beginner mm -hmm. of all of this confusion mm -hmm. after mm -hmm. Satan. Satan is and Azazel about the same to me, but there is different demons. So we, we the devil, Azazel is in, a, in Herman. But he started a whole lot of hell down here when no 200 huh, watches tried to uh, mutiny the earth from Yah. That's what they were doing. Mutiny. This earth from Yah. Satan, he was kicked out of <laughs> He was kicked out. Mm -hmm. of heaven. He was thrown out. Mm -hmm. 
So he's the only de uh, uh, angel, only he's a fallen angel that walks this earth. Mm. And look at the hell that is on this earth. Can mm. you imagine if all them 200 was out here? Mm. If you imagine a third of all the yeah. hosts with, with him was out, wouldn't no man be here. Y'all yeah. couldn't Alex. allow that because they're very powerful. Yeah. If one can do the mess this world is in, yeah. what would thousands upon thousands of kind of do? Oh. And then he got another section up in the heavens. They got a whole lot of angels that are there trying to repent now for some of the things they have done wrong. Thinking wrong. That's thinking, thinking so good. All right, and, and I have desired to take hold of them by the hand of the angels on the day of tribulation and pain. It's going to be a day of tribulation, troubles and pain, y'all. Yeah. And it's going on. It's, it's already begun. Yeah. Uh, because of this, I will cause my, because of this, I will cause my chastisement and my wrath to abide upon them, saith the most high, the most high of spirits. You mighty kings, he, he got a thing about you, who mm -hmm. dwell on the earth, you shall have to behold the mind elect one. How, not just sitting on there, how he sits. Okay. How he's sitting on the throne. What he's doing while he's sitting. Of glory and judges as Zell and all his associates mm. <laughs> and all his hosts in the name of the Most High. Hey, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Honey, can you take your seat? We're gonna. Any, anybody want to comment before we we let you go for the night? I would like to get you. What time is it, please? I don't usually hang on to work. I want to get you out early tonight. Um, there's so much now. I want you to read it over and consider it when you can. Let y'all yeah. speak to you. And you notice it. It, it how he's. There's just a beautiful flowing in and out, in and out, a weaving pattern. Uh, because it's not for everybody. It's for his children. And he's speaking to us. And he's going to let us know a lot more. We go back over this again. He's going to show us more. There's just no limit to what, what's here. This is a treasure house. You can't go in there and, and pick up every gold lamp and every gold cup and every, and every silver on one visit. You have to keep going back. Because there's so much more for us to to get. So at this time, does anyone have any comment that you'd like to make? A question you might have. I don't say I'll be able to answer, but I'll try with his help. Yes, dear Barbara. Mother Waiters, I wanted to know when you get to that part um, 51, um, what take? Two, 52 2. 52 2, okay. Yeah. I wanted to know about the mountains of iron and could you tell me which each one is? Yes, and that's in the book of Daniel. Daniel? Look in the book of Daniel. I'm gonna give me that scripture, that Peneza statue. I'll uh, give you that scripture. Uh, okay. If somebody wanna read it, they can read it. We can, uh, I don't, here, let me get my Bible's up there. So somebody can get it for me or I can pull it up. I'll pull it up. Uh, if you have to, have to give me the scripture, hand me my word. You know, oh, my scripture's over there, my Bible. I can't uh, reach it. Uh, That's all right. Layton got it? Yes, yeah, so let me read it. Let me have it. Somebody got a. Thank you. Daniel 7. Thank you, dear. Daniel chapter 7. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, let's read. In the in the first year of Belshazzar, is it? Can, yeah. No, no, it's not. No, 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 no. Okay. Uh, let me find it. Uh, okay. Yeah. Chapter two. In the second year of the reign of Nebuchadnezzar, Nebuchadnezzar dreamed <clears throat> dreams wherewith his spirit was troubled and his sleep break from him. Then the king commanded 
to call the magicians and the astrologers and the sorcerers and the Chaldeans for to show the king his dreams. So they came and stood before the king. And the king said unto them, I have dreamed a dream, and my spirit was troubled to know the dream. And then spake the Chaldeans to the king of Sarah, O king, live forever, tell uh, thy servants the dream, and we will show an interpretation. The king answered, said unto the Chaldeans, the thing is gone from, from me. If you will not make known unto me the dream with the interpretation thereof, you shall be cut in pieces and your houses shall be made a dunghill. But if you show the dream and the interpretation thereof, you shall receive of me gifts and rewards of great honor. Therefore, great honor. Therefore, show me the dream and the interpretation. Of course, they couldn't do it. So mm -hmm. they add some would go all the way down. Uh, they went and got down. Okay, no, uh, verse number 14. Then Daniel answered with counsel and wisdom to Arach, the captain of the king's guard, which was gone forth to slay the wise men of Babylon. He answered and said to him, uh, Arach, the king's captain, why is the decree so hasty from the king? And then uh, Arach made the thing known to Daniel. Of course, and then Daniel sought his, his father, his his. his Master Yahua. Uh, so he went into his house in verse 17 and made the thing known to Hananiah, Mashael, and Azariah, his companions. And you know who they are Shadrach, Meshach, Meshach and Abednego. Okay. That they should desire mercies of the Most High of Heaven concerning this secret, and Daniel and his fellows should not perish with the rest of the wise men of Babylon. Then was the secret revealed unto Daniel in the night vision. Then Daniel blessed the most high of heaven. Daniel answered and said, blessed be the name of our Yah forever and ever for wisdom and might are his. And he changes the times and the seasons. He removeth kings and set us up kings. He giveth wisdom unto the wise and knowledge to them that know understanding. He revealeth, appreciate to know. In other words, everybody don't appreciate. He revealeth the deep and secret things. Here we go again. He knoweth that which is in darkness and light dwelleth it with him. I thank thee and praise thee, O Most High, my Father. Huh? Thou hast given me wisdom and might and have made known unto me now what we desired of thee. For thou hast what now made known unto us the king's matter. So then what did Daniel do? Let's just go on. He went back to the king and he interpreted us. Skip some more. Go over to 31. Thou, O king, sawest and behold a great image. This great image, whose brightness was excellent, stood before you, and the form thereof was terrible, huge, mighty. This image's head was of fine gold. There's your gold. Nebuchadnezzar represented Babylon, and Babylon was the head of gold. Huh? He looks at uh, nations, he looked at the empires, I should say, as mountains. Okay. Okay, and as you keep reading, he goes on to um, brightness was excellent, stood before me, terrible. Uh, he said here, the image's head was fine gold, his breast was what? Arms of silver. That's the uh, Greco-Persians, that's the, uh, the Persians. Okay, so uh, before that was Babylon. All right, his, his belly and his thighs, of, there's your brass. Yeah, that. yeah, that's your Greek. Your Greek. Syrian. Syrian. Syrians were before Babylon, so he's not including them here. Assyrians took the tw 10 tribes. Babylon took the two. Daniel is with the Babylonians. Okay. And he's, he said the Babylonians' head is gold. Mm -hmm. All right. So he didn't mention this here. <laughs> All right. So brass of course we know who that is Persia and his arms of silver and his belly and his thighs of brass hmm? his Greco Persia Greece that was Greece the, the, uh, the Grecian Empire we're going to learn a little bit about uh, the, some of these empires by the way when I get into uh, the uh, books of Mac Mac Maccabees all right okay. learn a little bit about that there I was working on it most of all the day to day. All right, um, let's go on. 
a little bit more here. And then, of course, legs of iron. We know that was your Roman Empire. These are mountains are empires there. Okay. Okay. And go on and so on. And, of course, we understand about the feet of iron and clay, which is the, where we are now. Okay? Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Is there another question? Thank you for explaining that, Martha. Oh, my pleasure. It's just it's your father, that's all. All right, let's uh, end now. Let's have uh, the blowing of the shafars, if you don't mind now. And uh, I'll pray you blow, then, then we'll sing out and we'll see you. <laughs> we're out of John now, so uh, we're going to get into uh, Maccabees. Maccabees. And then after we finish uh, Enoch, we're going to get into, uh, what is it, Tracy? Uh, uh, Isaiah. I had a question. I had a young lady comment uh, about she wants me to teach on the 15th, I think it was chapter of Isaiah. And uh, a lot of things have been said, especially about the camps I've been talking about. about but we're going to talk about it uh, uh, with the Holy Spirit's help and, and help a lot of people understand what that means. The whole book. We're going to go through the whole book of Isaiah. And I'm telling you, that's going to be exciting. All right. At this time, let's uh, pray in the shofars and then we're going to sing out. I love you all, and I give uh, the love of our Father, I pray, uh, has come through and touched you and let you know how much he cares. All right? Father, right now, we thank you for her. We can't both because it's a different modem right now. Father, we thank you for your love, your care, your concern, your provision, your justice, your righteousness all of which we're at your feet to understand and be taught by the Holy Spirit. Thank you for tonight. Thank you for opening our eyes and teaching us, showing us your word, giving us, Father, understanding is so important, not to just read your word, but truly get your mind, your mind in this word, and not our own or anyone else's. We thank you for that because we know in it we are becoming better and better, serving you with clean hearts and hands and minds. So thank you, Father. Bless each one here. Bless those all in the hearing of my voice, whether today that this broadcast is going out or another day of it or years from now. May your word continue to take root in your people. That great and mighty fruit will come forth to glorify your holy and precious name. Keep us from evil. Keep mm -hmm. us from all evil. Mm -hmm. Keep our minds stayed upon you, even in our everyday chores, our everyday work life, our mm -hmm. recreation, whatever it is, Father. Let everything we speak and see and do and hear be glorious to your sight. We thank you, Father. The name of Yahuwah, Yahusha, is great. All right, Shabbos. Let's praise our Father, y'all. Hallelujah.